Today is May 3rd. I'm Susanna. I'm Barbara. And this is Simon, Simon says. says. Today is the first day of the term. Are you ready to start, Barbara? You bet I am. It's going to be another great semester at the Student Engagement Center. And this term we are going to be leading Student Engagement Center workshops in tandem. It's going to be Susanna and Barbara. So everyone, we are really looking forward to seeing you in our workshops and in our Student Center activities. Have a great term, everyone! The University of Alberta respectfully acknowledges that we are situated on Treaty 6 territory, traditional lands of First Nations and Métis people. Welcome everyone to the new term at the English Language School. The spring has arrived here in Edmonton. You can hear it, you can hear the birds singing and you can almost feel the warm of the sun on the screen, can you? <laughs> I usually like to take a little walk so you can see the neighborhood near the university while I tell you a little bit about what you can expect from the student center. This term you can join me in extracurricular activities outside the classroom uh, to practice your English and to have more opportunities to work on your skills. Not only language skills, but also soft skills, soft skills that are more transferable and you will be able to use them in the future in your, during your studies or perhaps even in your job. The first activity you can join will be this Tuesday at one o'clock Edmonton time and 10 p.m. Edmonton time you can join me for a listening lab workshop which is focused on your listening skills and note-taking skills. We will be discussing some communication strategies and formal correspondence. On Wednesday you can join me at 1 p.m. for a writing workshop where we will practice some formal writing. And on Thursday, we are going to have Conversation Club. Conversation Club is dedicated to enjoying your time with some other peers and discussing topics that help you uh, speak better and more fluently and more accurately. Now you are probably wondering where you can find uh, the access, where you can find a little bit more information. So all this information is on a Student Center blog. You will find in your e-class. When you check out the blog, you will find the Student Center Zoom link. You will find some information about the instructors and also about the activities. You will also find the access to the Student Center online lesson. So uh, in order for you to be informed, I would suggest bookmark that Student Center blog, put it on the taskbar so you can always have access to it. Oh, and uh, because today is the introductory day, I have someone that you need to meet as well. This is our Simon. This is our English language school mascot who comes along to the trips that we take and comes along on little walks with me. So Simon is joining us on our language journey. I think um, one of the biggest tips is to not be afraid to ask questions. Um, so if you don't understand something, you can um, ask a question in the chat. Um, you can ask the teacher directly. You can ask some of your classmates. Um, and if you're still not sure, you can always email your teacher and try and get some clarification on the homework or any assignments. I would suggest um, using your camera effectively. So to making sure that your whole face is on the screen 
and that you're not hiding here. Many of us might um, use eye contact and read our mouths to help us understand each other. So um, using the camera effectively would actually improve our communication. Well, uh, kind of related, same as what Tori said, don't be afraid to make mistakes. But you know, when you do make so-called mistakes, which means others don't understand what you're saying, uh, your instructor might not understand the first one or two times, uh, your classmates don't understand the first one or two times, don't just keep repeating the same thing again. And maybe try not to just spell, but instead of uh, repeating the same thing again or spelling it, uh, try giving an example. You know, give a nice simple example that can help communicate or say, say what you want to say uh, with different words. Hi hey students, how are you? My name is Bart and you can imagine that if I have to talk to you for two months like this, uh, it's not going to be very pleasant uh, because I know I have great hair, but on the other hand, I, won't, I would like you guys to see my whole face. And I would like you guys, I would like to see your faces too, of course. So please, please make sure that we can always, like Barbara said, we can always see your whole face, that I can see your eyes, that I can see your mouth move right um and maybe to add to what the others already have said it's okay to make mistakes guys we're in class here to learn from our mistakes not to not make mistakes uh, when you're writing emails to your instructors or staff at a university make sure you include your full name the official name and also your student id number so this way we will be it will be easier for us to identify you and locate your file and also, it will be great if you can use your Berta email to communicate with us. Um, for any official information, we will try to communicate with you through the your Berta email too. And this was... Simon, Simon says... says. <laughs>